Vlogmas. Woo. No, but we kind of do our own thing. That was fantastic. Here's the food, the fajita. All right, Vlogmas well, day three. Wanted to share some of the bounty of our grocery haul. This is kind of our menu for the week. So everything, or most of what I'm about to pull out is has to do with this stuff. This, if you've watched any videos, this is my breakfast and lunch bread. Love sourdough bread from Trader Joe's. Particularly like this three seed sourdough bread. These bad boys, last night we had to have sweet potato fries because we ran out of potatoes. These will be going in here. I love air fryers, we can talk about that as much as anyone wants, but I will be trying different french fry recipes. I love the air fryer. We've got, they're not shine musket, but they'll do. Blackberries for Miss Yoongi. Citrus, so lemons and limes for drinks and for, I don't know. Mostly for drinks, I'm guessing. Uh, cocktails. <laughs> Martinis and bureaus. Bananas, I will not be eating those. Avocados, again, for fish tacos we're not gonna have, we'll figure something out for those. Mongos, a little taste of home, the other home. Uh, again, for Yunji, but I'll snack on those. Nine bell peppers for my grandma, so these will be used, oh man, for the fajitas and the sausage and peppers. We have nine bell peppers for two meals, that'll be fun. And then a lot of red onions for the Kalbi tacos. Probably too much, but we'll use them for sandwiches and stuff. These smell so good, like, even before I got them out of the bag, they're making the entire kitchen smell good. For me, the redder they are, the better. Shiny. Like, sometimes they're like green or whatever. And I also prefer red mangoes to, what are the other ones, golden mangoes. Mm -hmm. There's just okay. better texture. It's so aromatic, they're ready to be eaten, I believe. Cilantro, this will be for tacos and, oh, the Kalbi taco. We're having tacos uh, twice this week because I love tacos regardless of where I am. This might sneak into the fajita. We'll be eating cilantro with everything because you should. Some shrimp for Caesar salad night. I'm gonna have mine scampi or grilled, the more you know. I'm gonna take a pause here to get grating your Parmesan cheese, like freshly, like as you wanna eat it. I know I'm a stickler, but this is a step in the right direction from this, from this, so. It, a Parmesan evolution, if you will. Can't have sausage and peppers or papers without sausage. So we opted for these. I think my mom was saying like the regular Trader Joe's mild and hot Italian sausages are $7.50. I thought those were always like $3.99, maybe $4.99. Inflation. Inflation, folks. Inflation and supply chain, really fun thing. Hate on me as much as you want in the comments. You need this for a burger, IMO. These are what make a burger slap. A fancy burger, but like a good, you know, a little upgraded in and out block of jack for the chili re relleno casserole, which is awesome. You're gonna see that tonight, actually. I guess these are for maybe the fajitas or something. I don't know. You should always have flour tortillas. Love pumpkin seeds in any form. I think my grandma will probably roast and season these. It's what's for dinner. Uh, this will be Thursday. I'm gonna freeze this. We've been having some issues with uh, beef ripening, if you will. <laughs> Dijon, always have as much mustard as you can on spicy brown, even your French's, I don't know. Mustard's great. Cardini Caesar dressing recipe, Caesar salad night. Uh, this stuff is the best, in my opinion, if you're not gonna at home make it, like this guy. Honestly, we've been eating this brand, Cardini's, for a long time, and I love it. Mayo, we're working on replacing mayo with Greek yogurt here, but my grandma likes it. Um, it is good on, lots of uses I'm trying to replace. How you get that special fajita flavor. It's uh, not homemade, we're going with McCormick. I don't know what this is for, but it's for the casserole. I'm always ready for sour cream and onion dip. That is not healthy. I'm gonna guess it has to do with the fajita or the chili rano casserole. Thanks for hauling with us. I will show you the fajitas and chili rano casserole tonight and we'll eat the fruits of our bounty. Vlogmas. So my mom got this for Yoonji. Yoonji's feeling shy. White truffle popcorn, because we love truffle. If you didn't see that video where we ate a bunch of truffle little stuff, I'll throw a link up there and in the description. And then last year my mom got us like a wine thing, but we're not gonna be here. Um, we're gonna be back and forth, Fresno, LA. So she got us a advent of the cocktail hour, um, some chocolate truffles with some booze in it. So we'll be doing this. Maybe after breakfast, after brunch. I will be having the famous grandma breakfast. So it's gonna be 
a three egg omelet, this time with sausage and cheese, and then French toast. It's divine. Extremely fancy and expensive kava. I know the title said champagne, but whatever, similar. So kava's from Catalonia, Catalan, the Barcelona region. I did a quick Google of best budget kavas, and this brand came up, so I'm hoping this turns out well. You can tell this bottle's fresh, this cork is in there. Okay, got it. Whoa, gave me a quite a Sorry, scare. Sorry, can you show the Bailey burrito? Bailey, did you get scared? Oh, actually you're doing a pretty good job. Cava or Prosecco. There's a lot of like crappy champagne and like half the time it's just sparkling wine anyways. I like getting things like Cava or Prosecco because they're less likely to have crappy versions. A good comparison is like think vodka there's tons of tons of crap vodka because everyone drinks vodka there's not that many crap gins like if you grab a random gin or the cheapest gin it's probably still going to be okay or solid i think the same can be said for stuff like this just learning learning with interesting learning and boozing cheerio festively dressed table cheers there's the Bailey scramble. That's kind of how Yunji does her eggs too. Some sourdough with booter and uh, a single Farmer John sausage. So Yunji thought Cabo was a breakfast thing. And the reason is there's this place we love in Barcelona called uh, El Kim. It's in that really famous market. Bocaria. Uh, yeah, El Bocaria, La Bocaria. I'll put links. And El Kim does just awesome breakfast stuff with like eggs. I think they call it like broken eggs. You can have stuff with truffle, with a uh, little fish or octopus or something. And they serve kava really early in the morning. You can get a rosé kava, normal kava. So since it's usually always our first day when we go there, we're like jet lagged. We've been up for a long time or we're all messed up. And we always get a glass of kava. So Yunji thought uh, kava is like a breakfast thing, which it can be, so happy brunch. Got the sausage and egg omelet going and the uh, the bice for the toast de Francais. This is the sausage cheese omelet. I just cheers by myself. Uh, something fun to share. I found out I was wearing my shorts backward when I took a shower and I was like, oh, that's funny. And then I put my underwear after that on the wrong way. I immediately could tell though, so it's a bit, bit of a weird day. I was telling you, dude, we've done a lot. It's 9.45, she walked Bailey, I exercised, <laughs> exercises. <laughs> then we did the grocery haul and then we're brunching. Yeah, TMI. Go Liverpool, F1 quality, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, any Liverpool fans out there? I'm guessing, hopefully. Or any F1 fans out there? If so, who's your favorite driver or constructor? And if you're not a Liverpool fan, any um, soccer or football fans out there? I'm guessing 100%. Actually, I'm guessing yes on both of those. Working on different angles for eating so you can see the food. Here's the famous French toast, Pan Francais. How awkward is this? Let me know in the comments. Do you have advice on how to do this? What do you all think about this angle? Then you see the food and then you don't have to see me grossly eat things. Or I can come down and say, what up? Or I can just come down here. I might choke, but it might be worth it. Throw a blackberry on here, because I can. Can't see it. Let's bake an apple pie. Professional apple pie maker. right through the core. <laughs> well, it might not be a competition, but my grandma wrecked me in this game. <laughs> Time to consult the recipe because I have no clue what we're doing here. We've got butter melting, you know that'll be good. And look at this fancy little setup we've got here. We are going to melt this, stir in flour, white sugar, brown sugar. All right, this is everything mixed up, waiting for a little bit more of a boil, then we'll reduce. Honestly, if you're Cooking with flour, butter, and brown sugar, positive things are gonna happen. There is a cool move I've missed, but you fold it in half when it's on here, then you place it and unfold it, very smart. Well, I don't know how uh, moundy this is supposed to be, but I'm excited. That is way more apples than I expected. This is probably the wrong time to tell you we're going off script. <laughs> They're telling us to pour this over the second layer of uh, pie dough, but we kind of do our own thing. 
And we're gonna hope this mixes well, but YOLO, right? So here's the semi-final thing. We might sprinkle some salt and then we'll throw the other pie dough on top. We're not gonna lattice because we're bored, but we're not that tight. So what I was talking about earlier is instead of just throwing it on top, you fold it in half. Then when you put it on top here, you'll be able to have a better diagnosis of the center. Little measure twice, cut once vibe, even though a little over, but still. Sehr gut, sehr gut. Yeah. Ooh wee, that looks good. Let out that frustration of dealing with me for so many hours a day. <laughs> so that's in there for 15. Quick peek, cause it looks gorgeous. We'll be back in 15. So this was a little unexpected. I've never seen a crust do that, but it well. smells fantastic and looks pretty good besides that. <laughs> this is our pie and then these dropped off, so I'll eat those when they cool off. Because we're ADD, we're gonna roast and season some pumpkin seeds, y'all. Apparently when you roast them, you can eat the shell as well. That's entrepreneurial, more bang for your buck. So I missed the olive oil drizzle, but here we're doing a little garlic and onion powder seasoning. And I dumbly turned that off, but as one door closes, another opens. Here are the roasted pumpkin seeds. I love these and they're pretty healthy. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Don't eat too many or my grandma said you'll get constipated. Fajita meat, dinner garnishes with some Covered torts. Here's the uh, casserole. Elderflower liqueur. Ongoing. Salud. Salud. Here's the food. We almost showed you it, but uh, life life goes on. Look at my fajita though. Here's the fajita. Got that tri-tip from the other night. Cilantro, guac, peppers, onions. Hi, hi Bailey. <laughs> and the uh, chili relleno casserole, apparently too hot for everyone. Those mm -hmm. are the uh, peppers that got pulled out. You can just eat them. <laughs> Couldn't handle it. Bless me. It's really good all mixed together with the guac and the cilantro. Mm -hmm. Really good flavor. Yeah, you, you always, always should have. have. Yeah, because we can. Mm. What did you do? Bomb, that huh? cheese, yeah, that was one of the best things. <laughs> for you, love. I'll just have to. I'm just I don't too peppers up. I don't know who in the world eats whatever. What is it? Chili Reno casserole? This is so good. It's so much easier than making individual chili Reno. Mm. Everything about the cheesy, eggy thing. Dear God. That is good. <laughs> the cutting of the pie. It's a pie. That's a good looking slice there. Nope. Ah. Uh -oh. First slice is always the hardest. Mm -hmm. Just like Cheryl Crow says. Another uh, typical pie slice. The pie is good, the pie looks good and, and that looks like a slice, but we went deep dish and we got a mound. Talking about poop fruits. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. This is pretty bomb. You want an apple? 25% reduced sugar. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how many calories you think are in each of these. No one has been guessing the calorie things. I, I want you all to play. <laughs> uh, show Bailey. This, this is your advent calendar. You oh, I am. Oh, wow, took part of the box off. Okay, it's not in plastic. I guess that's good for the environment. Don't know how I'm gonna split this with Yunji. So yeah, these are boozy chocolate trufles. Mmm, pretty tasty. Which one was today? The fourth. I think it's eggnog. Ooh. All right, we have a grocery haul part two. I'm gonna put this down. All right, starting off with a little monkey shoulder. I think we're gonna give this to Yunji's dad for Christmas. So Kimberly, if you're watching this, no spoilers. We have St. George's terroir. So we didn't know if we wanted to get the Botanivore or the terroir. I read the descriptions off of St. George's website and Yoonji decided on a forest over a meadow or something. Uh, I've had this in other drinks, but I am excited to have it with a martini. If you're gonna get nicer gin, you've gotta get nicer vermouth. 
So as I always do things, I Googled best vermouth or whatever for martinis. And the number one one was like $20. This was only like 10. So this is barely, barely more than the like Cinzano, the Italian stuff. But I'm excited to try this. I don't even know, Nuali Pra. I don't know how French works at all. New Orleans was challenging. Excited to try a different vermouth. Because we couldn't decide, we ended up getting both. So this is the Botanivore. This is what St. George's is known for. So I'm very excited to try martinis with Botanivore versus terroir. We've got this, we've got the terroir, we have Tanqueray, we have Hendrix, and now we have two vermouths. So mixing and matching will be fun. Also, we can do different garnishes. Hey, do you like gin? Yeah, I like gin. <laughs> I like tequila and mezcal and I like scotch. I like bourbon, I like rye. And then also, from the Mexico travels. I've never bought a bottle of this and we don't have an espresso machine, but here's another coffee liqueur. So coming at you. 47. 43. 43. 43. Happy Vlogmas day three. See you soon. Anyone is thinking this is the same day. It's not, he just wears the sweater all the time. <laughs> and these shorts. You can <laughs> see shorts. my facial hair growing. I'm gonna <laughs> shave. Is this a dog's bed? Or does she just take the human blanket to be passive aggressive?